I was born in a place where electricity was a challenge. We were lighting our homes by kerosene lamps, candles. When the technology started emerging, we started on a mobile phone. And those mobile phones had one challenge. The battery could get drained and we had no place to charge. So like at my place, we had to collect up to 5 to 10 mobile phones, put them together and travel to a charging station about 32 miles away. Something that we had to wait until the next day to use the mobile phone. I kept on looking at where shall we be this time tomorrow? Is this going to be forever? Started going in the trash areas. Now growing up, after when I was in primary school, I could go to dump places. I pick the radio motherboards, television motherboards, some batteries, put them together, trying to power a radio, trying to put a to, to make a torch just to light up our homes. And at one point, I started making a power bank because. I thought charging a mobile phone if could be simplified could be an easy job. But the challenge was the battery. I could use the AA AAA batteries to charge a mobile phone something which was not sustainable. The cells were not rechargeable. So I started looking for a rechargeable cell. And when I had access to the internet, I could Google and see. There are lithium ion cells, 18650 cells, that are sold outside. But looking at the situation where I came from, if I could purchase those cells and make a power bank, could be a solution which was not affordable to the people who were solving a problem, so it could still not be a solution. Then I started checking out on how I can leverage the e-waste that we have around to obtain cells that can be used for the second life. I did deep uh, studies online, and finally I found that I can repurpose laptop batteries to make the power banks, and the dream was to make a power bank and now I can power even the homes, the houses, even the electric bikes using the same batteries. At Waga, we can make any kind of energy storage system based on your specifications. And if you have a television or home you want to light up your house, then we can create a customized battery pack based on what you have at your house. You have 10 lamps, you have one television, you have AC, you have this. Then we calculate all that, we put together, we get the data, then we make something modular that can match those specifications. So, dealing with the batteries, we have the infinity possibility. I'm glad that uh, this year has been successful to me because it started in May when I was recognized by the UNDP as a... Uh, a young man championing sustainable development goal number seven by providing clean and affordable energy to people in Tanzania. And things didn't stop there. I then uh, won the Dare to Change Gala by Dot Tanzania, where they were helping uh, change makers to reach their goals. And after that, I got a fellowship uh, from Open Map Development Tanzania, the OMDTZ, under the Open Skies Fellows where they have supported me with seed fund to scale up uh, to improve this battery uh, technology. And I got um, into the Climate Launchpad uh, Global Competition. It has been over six months now. We started with Tanzania level, I, I succeeded to win. Went to the African level, I succeeded to win. And now I'm glad that I am the second winner of the global climate launchpad that involved more than 2,000 applicants all over the world. And uh, the first winner came from Mexico, the second came from Tanzania, me, then the third one came from Switzerland. Uh, that inspires me that this, what I'm doing, as small as it is, it matters and it can make a great change. Each and every opportunity that's available out there, we should make a try, shoot our shot, and at some point we might see ourselves being minute, but our impacts count. And I'm grateful that right now it's my responsibility to help other youths understand the SDGs, the importance, why do they matter to them, how should we conserve our environment, and how should we leverage to look at how we can create opportunities from the existing
existing programs that are going on in our societies.